The single most common mistake I see users make when I'm working with them on consulting calls and I'm coming in and kind of cleaning up their NAS and fixing a couple of things that have been set up wrong, all revolves around one feature, and that is the home slash homes folder. And I do not know why Synology's had trouble making this so clear. I think it is a really tough thing that has happened. And there's a few things that make it really easy to make this mistake. And so this video is going to be talking about what is the home slash homes folder and really going over how it can be useful and some key issues with it that you might not realize going forward. So to explain what I'm talking about here, I'm gonna go ahead and mount my NAS over SMB. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with an admin account. This is the very first account you create is an admin account. All right, so we've connected onto the NAS and this is how you should be accessing files on your NAS 95% of the time over SMB. Anytime you're on the local network, this is pretty much just a basic file server where the files are never stored on your computer and they're just stored on the NAS. It makes the NAS into essentially an external hard drive whenever you're connected to the network. And you're gonna see two folders here, homes and home. And this is really confusing. This is a very common thing that people run into and get confused by because what is this homes folder doing here and what is it? And because I'm an admin, I will just come in here and I can add in whatever folders I want in there and start using it. And now any other users can't really access files in here and it gets really confusing. So this is the issue that a lot of people run into is starting to modify files in this homes folder. And that is a big no, no. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we're going to talk about how the home folder works and how the homes folder relates to it. So if we come into our NAS over here, we can just do this all from file station. And what we're able to do is if we look within the homes folder, we are going to see a list of usernames. And that is actually how this works. And so to really simplify what the home and homes folder is, is the home folder is a setup where every single user gets their own special part of the NAS and that's their home folder. So I logged in with the account labeled Will. So I'm connected as Will. So if I open up my home folder via SMB and I say demo, I will see that I can add a folder in the home folder. Now, we're gonna switch over here and we're going to look at us as an admin. And so if I look at the homes folder and I look at Will's folder, it's that. So the way the homes folder works is it is actually just a collection of everybody's home folder. So essentially every time you create a new user, they will get their own home folder. So since I'm signed in with Will, my folder labeled home connected as Will is just Will's home folder. And since the very first account you create within Synology is the admin account, it has the ability to see everybody else's home folder within the homes folder. That's another reason why when we go into control panel over here and shared folder, we only see the homes folder. We don't see a home folder because the home folder is not a shared folder. It is just a virtual folder. Essentially what happens when I sign in with the account labeled Will, it shows me this virtual folder called home that just points to this folder right here. And that is the basics of what the home versus homes folder is. And this is where understanding it is really useful. So a couple of things I do to make this process much simpler is I always come into control panel right here and I really disable the homes folder from being visible on the network because it causes a lot of weird stuff to happen when people try to modify it. So I'll come in here and I will disable it from being shown in the network places. And so now if I disconnect and reconnect as will, we're just gonna see a much simpler view of the world where we don't even just see that homes folder. It's just going to simplify it out a lot better. So now what this home folder is for you is every time you want to have your own personal section and stick your own files, everybody can just put their own files in here. And that's why it's really valuable to have every single person have their own account on the NAS because then their home folder can be whatever stuff they want to put in there. And it's really valuable because now instead of having to create a shared folder for every single person, everybody gets their own little section of the NAS in their home folder automatically created and it doesn't clog up your NAS with a bunch of stuff. 
One thing to note, the administer, anybody who's in the group, administrators, will be able to see the contents of anybody else's home folder. That's just how Linux works. Any privileges that you would take away from this home folder to make it so you can't see it, you can also just undo. Anybody who's in the administrator group has basically full access to do anything. So they will be able to see anybody's files in their home folder. And that's what's the homes folder. Hopefully that makes sense. It's a really confusing concept, but it can also have a lot of value because everybody can get their own section. I'm gonna show how all these apps work with the home folder in a minute here, but I also do wanna quickly talk about some of the downsides to using the home folder. So if you use the home folder, you cannot share files with anybody else from there. You really should only be putting stuff in the home folder that is truly stuff that only you want to see. It's great having your own little scratch space, but it's not going to be accessible by anybody else except for an administrator. The home folder really should just be reserved for your own scratch space, phone backups, stuff like that, that you just won't, won't clogging up any other space on the NAS. And that is really what you should focus on. You don't want to put stuff in the home folder that you want other people to see unless you're using Synology Drive only, but we'll talk about that later here. So that is one downside of using the home folder. And especially if you've got the setup where your homes folder, you started putting files in here, and folders in here, that is where really weird stuff can happen and you really do not wanna do that. Try to clean that up as soon as possible because you're gonna run into these very odd scenarios. I would recommend moving all that stuff out of there into a shared folder. So that is number one thing. Don't just use it for files you want other people to see and try not to just create willy-nilly files within the homes folder or edit any of the permissions within the homes folder because it is all set up for you. Just don't touch it because you're probably gonna break it. So another downside to using the home folder and homes folder, I'm gonna talk about them kind of synonymously here because they're the same thing, is snapshots. If you use the home folder, you're gonna see that we do not have the ability to browse previous versions of files within our snapshots here because of the way the folder works and permissions. Instead, only admins can view snapshots even of people's personal folders. So that is a really big downside. You can't just easily have all of your users restore files within their own home folder using snapshots, which is a really great advantage of having snapshots visible in my opinion. So another downside that snapshots have when it comes to the home and homes folder is the inability to recover and recover directly. So this destination folder, which is just a regular shared folder, I could recover it restore the snapshot, and it's literally going to roll that entire folder back to exactly how it was when that snapshot was taken in about two seconds. Phenomenal feature, great way to get back up and running instantaneously after ransomware occurs. But let's say I try to do that with this homes folder. We're gonna see that there's no option to just restore to this snapshot. Instead, we can only clone to a new name. You can't just roll back the homes folder, unfortunately, because of all the users and permissions in there that Synology does not want you messing with. So there's no ability to just restore to that snapshot and roll the entire homes folder back. Instead, you actually have to clone with a new name and copy everything over. So that's another downside that snapshots have when it comes to the homes folder. One final one is the way that the replication works. You can't do a failover of the homes folder on a separate system, unfortunately, for the same rule. So if you do a replication, you cannot actually replicate the homes folder and have it be a one-click failover like you can with the rest of your shared folders. So those are some big downsides. I do want to mention what the home and homes folder are. The next one is going to be being able to migrate it and share it with other NASes. So you can't really replicate the homes folder within Synology Drive unless you've properly set up LDAP or Active Directory between the two different units. Because the home folder has really specific properties to it and it makes it very hard to sync. And so if you're planning on being able to have a house in Florida and a house in Texas, and you want the two NASes to sync using Synology Drive Sync, a really valuable feature, you are going to have a very large headache doing that with your home folder. If you're storing all your files within your home folder, that sync process is 
exponentially more complicated to set up because now you have to have a centralized authentication server somewhere in there. Instead, if you're especially a small user and you've just got a folder for you and your spouse, I would just create two shared folders, one for each person, and then you can use Synology Drive Share Sync and edit the permissions on each side. All right, so now let's talk about when the home and homes folder are used in different applications. And it's used in a lot of the most common ones, namely Synology Drive and Synology Photos. So if we go into the Synology Drive admin console, we're gonna see under team folder, the my drive has been enabled. That's because if you've got the homes folder created, and actually that's the reason why most people have the homes folder created in the first place, it is automatically set up within Synology Drive as the my drive folder. So when we come into Synology Drive, we're going to see that I'm signed in with that will user and that same demo folder that was in my home folder is in my my drive folder and they're they're the same folder and so this is really set up with that kind of google drive setup where my drive is your home folder just with a different name that gives you the ability to easily see files within here so we'll see they're the exact same folder it's labeled home over here and my drive over here and it's really set up where every single person will just see their my drive folder and so the exact same thing actually happens with the personal space within Synology Photos. When we come into Synology Photos, and I'm just gonna go ahead and upload a single random image into my personal space, we're gonna see right here that that file is actually going to be stored in the Photos folder within my home folder. So both Synology Drive and Synology Photos, as well as multiple other applications, all stick stuff automatically in the home folder. So whoever signed in gets to see those things. That is one of the most confusing pieces is it's really critical about who's signed in to see all of these different things. And so that is how the home and homes folder works. In reality, it's just the homes folder. That's the only actual folder that's created on the NAS. That's where all the data is stored. But every person who signs in sees a folder called home that is just their home folder. So when I sign in with the user Will, what it shows me right here is the home folder of Will. And we can see that pretty easily right here. This is simply how it works. This folder that's labeled home is not a real folder. It is just the will folder within the homes folder displayed as a folder called home. Any modification, to either one of these, they're the same folder just shown in two different places. There are a lot of valuable things that the home folder creates. It allows everybody to get their own little section of the NAS where they can modify files, add backups, add their photo backups, and just kind of create their own little personal section of the NAS without having to worry about cluttering up anybody else's folders. The downside is the stuff I talked about earlier, where it becomes really easily for an administrator to mess up who doesn't really know what they're doing. And that's why it's a really good idea. If you're an administrator, never modify folders within the homes folder. You can always come into any single user's home folder within these folders right here and add and remove files as required. But don't just come in here and create a new folder within that as you're going to break a lot of things in doing that. There are also some issues with the replication and snapshots that can make it much more useful to just sync shared folders across. Finally, if you'd like to move the volume or anything like that, the way you actually handle that is under users and group, advanced. And this is where you can actually modify what volume and disable the home folder right here or enable it. All right, well that should be everything you need to know about the home versus homes folder. It's got a lot of very useful features on it but you should just be very cautious whenever you're using it, especially whenever you open up the folder labeled homes. Only ever open up that if you need to do something specifically, otherwise don't touch that. If you'd like to hire me for a project, there's a link for that down in the description below. And if you have any other questions, go throw those down in the comments below, as well as leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make. All right, have a good one. Bye.